And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. My question is this, who doesn't like pizza? Oh, put your hands down. Everyone likes pizza, uh, I think. Uh, what's the best pizza? Mm. I'll tell you the best pizza, CC's, because it's all you can eat. But anyhow, Pizza Theory, which actually comes in a box, which remarkably looks like a pizza box. If I was carrying this into your house like this, you would think I was bringing a pizza. Uh, and the game itself looks kind of like a pizza. The board, which is really nice and thick, here's your pizza crust with delicious pizza toppings, especially fantastic jalapeno peppers. Okay. But the game, what is the game like? There have been games about pizza and pizza toppings before. In fact, it seems like there's a lot of these kind of games out there right now. Well, is this one any good? Before we get into it, let me tell you that this game is made specifically for three players. Not many games do that? All right, enough talk, into the game. beginning of Pizza Theory, each player gets one of these sticks of their colors. They get a die, and they get a bunch of tokens that show different toppings of their color. The different tokens don't really, I mean, like, for example, this tomato and pepper don't mean anything different. They're there just for flavor. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. But each player is going to start with two of them on the starting X spots. So they have these here, and there's a lot of empty spaces on the board. And then starting with the player who has first in front of them, each player has the opportunity to put one of their tokens anywhere they want on the board. Then, after each player does that, players will secretly pick a number on the side of their die. So let's say red picks four, white picks three, and green picks five. Red is gonna take his stick, he picked four, and he's gonna look in front of him, and he's gonna put his pizza cutter like that. Green's gonna put his pizza cutter here on the five, and white picked three, so he'll put his pizza cutter there. This is going to cut the pizza into several different sections. Now, there's all of one color in many of the sections, but here you can see there's two different colors. There's two whites and one red. So white has the majority here, so the red is removed and a white is put in its place. Now, there are some rules to that. In fact, actually, in this case, that's not going to happen because uh, there, you, if you only have one in all the different territories in the board, yours can't be replaced. But, for the sake of this, we're just going to show that that's how normally it would happen. And as the game progresses, there's going to be more and more of these on the board. After everyone has done their pizza cutting and replacement, then we rotate the board so that you have a new position that you're looking in front of you and also a new turn order. And then each player will add yet another one to the board. And then players will pick their uh, numbers secretly. So again, here's one, two, and five. So red puts theirs on one and white puts theirs on two and green puts theirs on five and you can see again that this cuts the board into sections here there's a tie nothing happens here there's only one red one white one white but here we have two whites two reds and three greens so green wins this section by a huge margin and that will transform those to green if green and white had both had three here and red had two, they would have tied for the win, and the red ones would have been removed, but no one would have added any new ones. So this is gonna continue going until one player has gotten all of their tokens on the board. At that point, that player is the winner. This is perfectly tuned as a three-player game, but the rules, which are very easy to understand, do come with ways to play with two players, and there's a, basically a dummy player on the board. And so you can play two players, but in my opinion, it's best as a three player game. Pizza Theory is a game of knowing how to slice the pizza in the right spot so that you can have the majority. Let's see what the kids think of this game. What do you think of it? I kinda like it because it's about pizza. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. I hate the mushrooms and the white. All right, all right, but yeah, I know it's just, <laughs> but what about the game? Do you like the game? Kind of. Kind of? Anything you did like or didn't like? I didn't like the mushrooms. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the game, not the pieces. Uh, what I didn't like was... Uh, I don't know. You don't know. All right, well, let's get Melody in here. Melody, what do you think of Pizza Theory? I like this game because 
it's really fun putting out the pizza toppings, making sure you get the pizza toppings on it. And to me, I think the green pieces are cursed. That's not true. She just says that because she doesn't think you should put as met that many veggies on a pizza. That's not true. <laughs> and because every person who plays with the green almost loses. All right, Except but, Juan, but well then see, <laughs> see. But only me, it works. Everyone else, they lose. Uh, the, the game has a very strong visual appeal. All right, Holly, what do you think of the game? I like it because um, we won. Oh, we won. Yeah, Holly and I are a team when we play oftentimes. And so we won. So you like this? I like it a lot, too. For one thing, it's really neat that it's three players. works really well with three players. And it's really quick. 10 to 15 minutes. You just simply put a piece out, pick a number, and go. And you sit there and try and think, okay, if I put my line there, and they put their line there. But really, you don't know where your opponent's going to put your line and where you put your pieces. You can put them in one big group. But still, if you're not careful, that group's going to get sliced up and taken over. So in essence, it's an area control game, but with some really fantastic visuals. And it says on here, six and older. And while I think six, seven, eight, nine might have trouble with the strategy parts of the game, it certainly is very easy to get into. So this is one that I can highly recommend, Pizza Theory. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Yeah. Yeah.